Here we have a 2014 on a 14 registration Mercedes Benz Sprinter 516 CDI Unvi Vega 19 seat mini coach. We are up at Travel Show Coaches up in Belford, Northumberland, who retired at Christmas. And we're just working through literally what we've got left, to be honest. Um, we've got this sprinter, we never advertised this because at one point, one of the family was thinking of converting it to a camper van, but obviously that's gone by the wayside, so here we are. Little bits of corrosion, just odds and sods. Far less than I've seen on a lot of 10 year old sprinters, I'll be honest. I mean, other than that bit there, bodywork's pretty good. Got Euroliner wheel trims fitted. Quite a large boot to the rear. Um, I am a fan of all things Umvi. I won't hide that, to be fair. Um, one of the better converters out there, to be honest. And the Vega is literally a van conversion. The Vega GT is the coach built. So uh, this is, is the Vega. We've got a power operated front door, which obviously makes it feel a little bit more like a coach. And then in here, 19 reclining seats. Um, Umvi have always used these quite wide seats in most of the products which does make the, the aisle a bit narrow but it gives the customer a bit more comfort um the good thing with this as well is it only got one center pillar so you've got a bit more elbow room against the windows three point seat belts are fitted half leather trim kind of coffee and cream if you like fully air conditioned which is always uh, a bonus point but from the top, working down, because we always have a sit at the back when we're doing a sprinter. Um, we've got internal luggage racks with individual passenger service units. Double glazed windows with full draw curtains. As I said, you've only got the centre pillar on either side. So what that means is um, you do get the elbow room. I've just spotted there's a couple of light repairs on these seats at the back. Um, they could, you know, you could get them repaired properly at any, any good trimmers. A um, little bit of scratching down there, but again, not much of a repair required. Wood effect flooring with centre aisle carpet. You know, this is a tidy thing. This for ten year old, it'll do. Uh, it'll do some a job, definitely, because it is, you know, quite a nice little thing once you get inside. And you stick a private plate on and it could be, you know, a considerably newer model. Who's going to know? We are wired for DVD. We've got one drop-down monitor at the front. Uh, Mercedes multimedia system with Bluetooth connection. Dash is all in good order. There is no um, lights on the dashboard considering the vehicle's not really in use at the moment. The only thing that's changed is obviously there's this panel here. Right. This touch panel, they do tend, if you've got a lot of ham-fisted people, they do tend to break quite easily. So rather than keep repairing it, they've obviously just rewired the door um, a little bit crudely, but it does the job um, just there. It's a Euro 5 engine with a six-speed manual gearbox. And all in all, tidy little course. That's been caught a few times, which makes it look a bit scruffy, but again... It could be tidied if you want to. But, you know, overall, for 10 years old, there isn't a lot to complain about, is there? Let's be fair. So, back out into the monsoon. And to recap, we have a 2014 on a 14 registration. Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 516 CDI. Umvi Vega 19 seat mini coach.